Hi all folks, this is Max from Epic4GTouchRoot.com. So today we're going to unroot our Epic 4G Touch to the latest EL29 OTA. Um, this is without root, so it's going to make your um, Epic 4G Touch completely unrooted. So to do this, you need to put it in download mode. To do that, hold down the volume at any time and the power button. And then if you keep holding it down for about 5 seconds, your phone will reboot into download mode so it's rebooted now and you'll see that sign right there and hit the volume up button alright and it says um, it's uh, downloading um, next we're gonna don't connect the USB connector yet next we're gonna go to our computer next you're gonna go download this uh, zip file called epic 4G touch unroot el 29zip I'll have links below and you'll get this file, SPHD710, this really long file with .exe, one click. So double click there, and it'll bring up this uh, restore uh, window. And now what we're going to do is connect um, the USB cable to your computer, and it should show up like that. Um, you got to make sure to do it because this program won't uh, recognize if you plug it in beforehand. And if you, if, you, if you don't get this yellow thing, I'll go to control panel. And if you go to control panel, hardware and sound, uh, and device manager, you should have a, um, where is it? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Under USB, you should have Samsung uh, mobile USB composite device. If you don't have this, install Samsung keys uh, and it will solve it. So that's done, and we're simply going to hit start, and this will pretty much restore everything back to our stock EL29. And I'm doing this because uh, a lot of people have been telling me that uh, my root method is outdated, which it is. I'm sorry, um, I forgot to update because I have so many phones. and uh, <laughs> But anyway, I'm, that's what I'm doing, and uh, we'll have an updated root method that doesn't break anything. Um, with the right kernels. The, what what happened is the Android kernels got updated and the one I posted is from like six months back and if you flash a uh, kernel from Android 2.3.4 to 2.3.6 it will still work but uh, sometimes Wi-Fi might get broken and you know a lot of broken parts um, so I'm just gonna update it with a rooted kernel that gives you 2.3.6 um, rooted with everything working so yeah. That should be all good to go. But the Epic 4G Touch um, development has been really good, so I'll try to upload more videos for that and update my site. Um, I've just been a little bit lazy because I've been playing with all my my new toys. You know, this thing's awesome, by the way. Galaxy Note. I freaking love this thing. It's, you can take notes. Um, it spits out money and uh, gives you three wishes. <laughs> love it. Um, it's coming out on, I think, AT&T on February 18th. Um, definitely, this is the next device from Samsung that's going to really change everything, I think, for Samsung. Because this thing, the, the coolest part about the Galaxy Note is that the battery lasts so long. I've used it, I've used this phone right here for two days. I still have 58%. I'm sort of like the Droid, the new Droid Razer Max, which has a really long battery life. I would say this one is very comparable to that. Plus, you get the this is the largest um, screen, and it's like a phone slash tablet. So I really love it. Um, I'm gonna get the AT&T version when it comes out, and they should have a Sprint and a Verizon. I'm not sure about Verizon. Um, Sprint and probably uh, most like T-Mobile, or you know, you can always buy the online version like I did. I feel like this is much a better device than the 4G LTE, unless you have a grandfather plan. Uh, grandfather plan is where you bought the unlimited service for a, one, one of the older phones, and you still kept your the same line. Then when you upgrade to a 4G LTE device, then you can still get unlimited uh, 4G LTE because the carriers, they can't, um, it's illegal for them to charge you more since you signed up for unlimited. So if you have unlimited, get the 4G E. 4G LTE version because you get unlimited data but if you don't then it's not worth it because uh, you get two gigs or three gigs or whatever and if you go over every gig is like ten bucks if you use like if you if you watch a lot of Netflix movies 
and you know you use up 10 gigs that's the base 20 30 bucks plus extra 70 80 bucks and so you end up paying like 100 bucks for data a month if you use a lot but if you have a grandfather grandfathered unlimited plan then um, you're good to go that's why for AT&T I don't have a grandfather plan because I signed up after um, AT&T shut off their unlimited services so I only get two gigs and uh, that's why I've got the unlock version because this way you know I can use the HSPA plus which is pretty fast and pretty good and uh, I don't really need 4G LT right now since I have other devices uh, I have Verizon 4G LT which gets super great 4G LT and plus I have grandfather plan on there um, so it's all about really working you know working on your plan whatever unlimited plan you have the best one is to uh, on Verizon 4G LT and also AT&T 4G LTE um, T-Mobile 4G LTE they don't have a 4G LTE their HSPA is um, useless in my area because I dropped to Edge not even 3G which is why you know sucks but I have unlimited on T-Mobile Verizon of course Sprint is great because you get unlimited everywhere um, so but the battery life on this unlock version uh, is a lot better oh sorry I, I just kinda get into I'm actually advertising for Samsung here no they didn't pay me anyway it's almost done uh, I hope you enjoyed my rambling about new gadgets and uh, I even got my old my friends old epic 4G OG epic 4G um, then I'm gonna put ice cream sandwich and uh, that's coming up soon later hopefully today that's what I'm working on um, so it's almost done it's still flashing the modem the last part there so it should be done any minute um, also behind the scenes since we're here I'm, I'm installing while this video is going on I'm installing a whole bunch of stuff I'm installing the the beta version of um, ice cream sandwich for Galaxy Tab 10.1 here and I already installed the ROM and I'm installing Google Apps here and then it should be all done anyway this is a lot of fun I'm trying to multitask anyway so there you go so it reset mm -hmm. pass now your phone mm -hmm. should be completely rebooted and I'll mm -hmm. hold this up here for you guys to see and uh, it's doing its thing. Update to success, success, success. Um, and it's rebooting again. And while that's going on, let's let's reboot our our um, Galaxy Tab here. Actually, let me do it with one hand so you can see. This is how we do it. How multitask. Go back and uh, reboot. I should have the the uh, ICS for my. Galaxy Tab 10.1. Maybe I should rename this video to how to unroot your Epic 4G Touch while installing. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I just want to show you all the processes so you don't miss it. Because sometimes I skip some of the parts and people think I left it out or you know they actually want to see it. So there's the Galaxy Tab the thing booting. <laughs> it's all like awkward. I don't know why it shouldn't look that way. Uh, but Epic 4G Touch is almost done, and uh, all right, and we're gonna double check. Let's zoom in here a little bit more. Focus. And by the way, this camera is awesome. I've been using it for like almost three years. Um, this is Canon 7D I'm recording with. It's great because you can focus um, really well. Zoom. Android 2.3.6 EL 29. And uh, all my apps are. Oh, I still have Super User. I'll show you how to get rid of Super User. Okay. Um, let me switch the camera here. Actually, you know what you can do is uh, um, just do a factory update, a factory reset. So that's what I'll show you how to do. That will probably get rid of Super User without manually doing it. To do this, hold down the volume up and the power button. And if you hold it, let me take this out. It's kind of annoying. Um, hold down the volume up and the power button like I'm doing. And then wait until it resets. And you'll get into the stock recovery. Stock recovery is the recovery that comes with your phone. So 
So I've got the Galaxy S2. And there you go. That's the stock recovery. Now do data factory reset and hit, hit the uh, home button, I think. There we go. And then say yes. And this will delete all your personal data. So if you're going to return it to, um, if you're going to return it to Sprint for warranty, you can do this and everything's erased. And it seems like, um, so it's done. I'm going to reboot. And if you have, uh, if you still see i90 100 screen, you shouldn't, I think. But there's, I couldn't test it because I, I used my USB jig. Um, you can get a USB jig. See, I don't have the i9800. You can get this USB jig and just plug it in while it's powered off and it gets rid of that i9100. Um, you can buy it on Amazon. Or I have uh, links. links um, I have it on my site. Um, you can search for it. Epic 4G Touch Root dot com and uh, search for uh, USB jig or buy it on Amazon. But I feel like it's they've charged you like 10 bucks on Amazon and it takes like 10 days you make it in like 10 minutes maybe 20 minutes uh, maybe an hour if you don't know how to you know use the solder um, but this should be booting up soon and we should be done here and completely unrooted back to the latest EL29 with all your personal stuff erased super user is still there ah darn it so if that happens to you, we'll, we'll walk you through here. Um, we can just erase it manually. Uh, go to the market. I'm going to have to go sign in again. I'll, I'll be right back. So I'll walk you through. Um, go download ES File Manager. And uh, pretty much you can actually do this on every um, any phone that you want to get rid of root. If you're on the stock ROM, if you do it on uh, you know, a custom ROM, it will work. But when you return it, people you know the sprint manager or whatever Verizon manager they're gonna be like but this is not stock ROM <laughs> I can't give you a refund but uh, the funny story is I, I took uh, my HCC Evo 3D back it was overclocked with a custom ROM and one of the people that was working there they're like oh yeah we'll return it and I think what he did is swapped out his phone for mine because he thought it was so cool um, so Sprint users is cool about it, so I wouldn't even worry about it. Um, go to go to menu settings and hit on Root Explorer. Say yes, and it should pop up Super User Allow. And then Mount File System. There you go. Hit the back button. Um, hit Favorites and hit the second one. That one, the slash. This is the root directory. Go to system and app, and you can hit the list so it's alphabetical like that. Go to S, um, you'll find superuser.apk. And you know, you just have to erase the super user as long as they don't see this app. Um, delete. As long as they don't see the app, they're not going to know that uh, it's been rooted um, and also you can't execute root apps anyways you can go ahead and also delete under system bin su and also system x bin slash um, su also um, but you don't have to this you don't have to because that's just like you know as long as you you raise super user .apk, there's no way you know they're gonna know um, you have you know rooted phone so, so super user is gone and let me um, I just had to enter my information, so you should actually do a factory reset after you do this. Um, erase it, but I'll do it again. Just it's so much fun, right? Um, so hit the uh, volume up and the power button together. We'll do another factory reset, and uh, should be all good to go, I think. And uh, do a wipe data factory reset home button, and this will delete all my data. Home button, delete data, and we're gonna reset, and we should be back to completely stock. Hopefully, um, it should work so long as the um, what is it? The um, 
the ROM that's installed doesn't automatically install super user every time. If it does, then you know we'll have to find another stock ROM that does it. But um, we'll see. I was gonna say something. I forgot. Um. <laughs> oh man, I should write these down. Um, it's almost there. If you can always skip the video <laughs> forward, I'll just let you do that so you can see everything that I'm doing. It's almost there. Come on. Okay, I'll, I'll be back with this boots. Oh, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. Okay, so the ROM didn't have super user installed at every boot. So now we're completely back to stock, unrooted, super user removed. Um, that's pretty much everything you need to do. Anytime you need root though, you can go to the market and install super user um, .apk and you'll have root again. So it's kind of like, um, you know, just for the purposes when Sprint, you know, people, they look through your phone. You don't have the super user in there, you know. And even if you have it, they'll take your turn. As long as you have the stock ROM, and, you know. But just just get rid of that and you're all good to go. You can return your phone. And, uh, you know, everything's been reset, so you'll have to sign in again. And make sure the internal storage and also your SD card, make sure, you know, you, you get rid of, uh, format those. Because those are still on there. And I live, love this case. Anyway. Subscribe, folks. I'm going to have more cool stuff coming. Um, that was my unrooting Epic 4G Touch. Hell yeah, baby. See y'all later.